where do vulnerable dependencies come from? Tell us more about this this use case and this example. Yeah, so so this one is again is another uh, example for for something that fails that causes the build to fail and how we do, and how we find the root cause. So in our build we have a task uh, named vulnerability scan. It's a custom Gradle task that runs a third-party tool that scan, scans for dependencies that contain security vulnerabilities. And when, if it finds such a dependency, it intentionally fails the build because we want developers to actually look and try to fix it. Usually what this means is they need to upgrade the problematic dependency, the vulnerable dependency. Um, Let's say this is a where we... and uh, you're looking at there's uh, the dependencies tab, which is your dependency tree. You could search for a dependency. And Daron, your uh, tell tell us what you did here. We see this this is the that failed integration test, the vulnerability scan test. T- yes, yeah, so actually, the build was failing. It said something about uh, Google Guava dependency. It said uh, that the Google Guava dependency is actually vulnerable. Um, and that we need to upgrade to the latest dependency. All right, so I go to the, into the build scan. I click the dependencies tab, and I and I search. I filter for the Google Guava dependency. Yeah, I can see at the top that I filtered for for this dependency that I knew that is problematic. And and I wanted to see what version I get. So I see that there are some rules here um but eventually there are some yeah some rules that actually translate android dependency to jre dependency because we don't have mobile product so but eventually what i see is that we got uh version 29.0 in our class pass that the version that's the old version that we actually need to upgrade and if you go to the next slide we'll see where it comes from yeah so actually i can dig into a specific de- dependency and see the dependency tree. So here again, the text is a little blurred because it's a uh, project information. But what we can see here is that we have a dependency on a client library. It's an internal client library, version 50. We get it transitively, and it brings with it Guava 29. So so Guava 29 is actually a transitive dependency that comes from an internal client library. So once I know that, I know where the problem comes from, where the vulnerable dependency comes from. And actually, I could fix it just by um, just by adding a dependency rule or a dependency constraint in this project, in this current project that failed. Uh, just a constraint that says, always use uh, Gova version 31, because that's the latest one, for example. But the better solution would be to go to the library, to, to the internal client library, and update the dependency there. Because that way, all projects, all microservices that use that library will get the newer version. And I will not have to do this fix manually for all my microservices. So this helps me really see where you know, where the problem comes from, where, did, where does this dependency come from. And if it's, it's coming from a common library, I should fix it in the common library. And for this case, Daron, did did a developer kind of slack you a build scan with the failure and say I have this problem? Kind of, uh, how how did this this issue come about? Yeah, and that's exactly what what what, what happened. So uh, that's that's what usually happens, actually. So I'm one of the, you know, of the build experts. So I'm not the only build expert. I'm trying to also uh, teach other people in our team how to use Gradle Enterprise because it's really a good tool and easy tool uh, to for debugging uh, problems. But you know, as one of the of the more um, of the those who have more knowledge in Gradle and build, uh, I got uh, you know I saw in, in in our internal Slack channel there is a vulnerability uh, issue. Where is this uh, version coming from? And yeah, and you can. Actually, in this case, I'm not even sure that, that that someone asked me. Maybe they went into Great Enterprise themselves and and looked into it. I don't truly really remember how I found this example, but yeah. But if someone sees if someone has a build that fails and they are not able to understand themselves because it's complex, like the previous example, sometimes it's a bit too complex uh, for 
some developers from to maybe a junior developer that is not really familiar with you know with how the build works um, then they can send me or some other developer the just the link to the build scan and it's very easy you know to share those uh, to collaborate this way yeah a, a great UI and more of the story folks dependency management is hard in microservices environment it's even more complex and you need the right tools and build scans and this dependency view is really helpful, so I recommend you guys checking it out.